Hey everybody, welcome back to D-Zoned. Let's get to Wadnaton right off the bat. We've got Death Wall 2. Hmm, conversion kind of seems likely, but you know what? Let's give it an honest to goodness attempt. Here we go. Got a lot of them. A lot of enemies here. Oh, I have the feeling this is kind of meant to be a deathmatch map. This definitely seems to be the case here. Oh, that was... Yeah. <laughs> huh. Didn't take any damage from that barrel explosion. Seems lucky. I gotta say, this is a... Interesting take on deathmatch. I'm assuming if this is a conversion, which, I mean, given the arch vial placement, I'm like 99% sure. This would be a very, um... Interesting sort of map, I guess. It's like... Oops, all shotguns, more or less. Unless you manage to platform to the center, then you... Get a BFG with max ammo. Actually, more than max ammo, because there's still cells there. God, how much ammo do you get for this stupid thing? There's more! You still... It's still going. Yeah, you basically win the match at that point. Because, um... Again, this is assuming this is a conversion, which, again, yeah, there's still more cells, what the hell, but, which I do believe is incredibly likely, yeah, that, um, <laughs> man, oh man, that would basically mean that you would have the BFG and everyone else would have normal shotguns, oh, that's broken. It kind of looks like that's supposed to be... Oh, I made that the secret discovered color. I guess the only silver lining is if you end up falling in the center, you're just dead. But... Yeah, not a very well-balanced deathmatch map. Alright, moving right along. Let's do another one. Yeah, my, um... Because I did add in um, deathmatch detection to the Wadinator, but it only triggers when there's, like... I only have it configured to trigger when there's, like, less than ten enemies. That one had 22, so... Oh well. Not gonna be scoring that, since obviously it's not really intended to be a single player map. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Artifact 2. Now is it Artifice or Artifact? Not sure. Uh, probably another conversion, given the 2 at the end. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Let's go ahead and, uh... Give this thing a shot, shall we? Okay, just try to get out of sight, out of mind for most of these enemies. Guess snipe the hit scanners. Ah, oh, throws you kind of right into the thick of it, doesn't it? Hey, stop it. Pretty sure I heard a... I think I might have heard something get resurrected? No, I don't think I did. I have no idea. Hmm. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Stupid. <laughs> oh, weapon switches. You are so annoying. Alright. And the lack of armor does not help. So, um... I mean, it looks like that leads somewhere, but let's check here first. It's a bit of a hot box, that's for sure. <laughs> One percent armor. Hmm. But I want to get that. Oh well. So I wonder if these side walls fall if you teleport in there. I don't, I don't really know. Oh, hi. Oh wow, there's a lot of hit scanners up there and down here. There's just a lot of hit scanners. My goodness. Oh, I want this. Thank you. Yeah, let's uh, take advantage of our position here. Yeah, good enough. Got the ultra spicy shotgun dudes. So, um, yeah, that's not too bad. Can't complain. Armor. Thank you very much. 
Hello, Pinky. <laughs> uh, actually, not a bad placement, I gotta say. Yeah, so I'm running out of places to go, so I'm kind of thinking the water is probably the next place. Oh, a megasphere. So this probably would have normally been a soul sphere. Yeah. The whole, um, conversion thing definitely throws off the map balance, like, just a tiny, tiny bit. I think I've said this before, but I wish that the approach they would have taken was to use a converter that was a bit less... I guess, destructive to the overall map balance. Because if it was just like a straight conversion, I mean, okay. I don't think it's really, it would have been good either way. That was a very well hidden wall. Hopefully this isn't the only way of getting here. But yeah, if it would have taken a less destructive approach. Oh geez, yeah, it's, it's a new key doors. Uh, but um, oh fuck. Anyway, as I've been trying to say, it would be nice if the map's balance and all that stuff were preserved. It would have been better if it were handled like in the launcher. Like, you know, you launch the thing. Because really, there's nothing novel about converting Doom 1 to Doom 2. Almost nothing. I don't know what that does. But yeah, it would have been nice if instead of doing it the way that they did it, if instead they would have made it so that their launcher would just convert to Doom 2 on the fly. And maybe it had an option to, quote, enhance the map or to not enhance the map. Just leave that up to the user. And don't just make a set conversion that... Uh, there we go. That just in general doesn't work all that well, or just breaks the map. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too much of a purist. Probably not, though. Uh, whoa, hello, everybody. Welcome to the... I don't even know what this would be. Rocky Road? Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what opened that. I don't know if it was me going over a line def, or um, maybe it was that switch I pressed. So did that open up something over here? Well, it didn't open up the BFG, that's for sure. What about this area here? Oh, yep, I heard it. I heard that one open. Unfortunately, I can't just climb over there. I'm gonna have to <laughs> stick to it through the long haul. Oh, I saw that. Fortunately, because I took out that pain elemental, I'm not exactly doing great in terms of ammo. Hmm. Should probably clear this out. Oh, double barrel. Well, that seems like a waste of ammo with the enemies I'm facing. Ammo that I'm already not super well stacked on. I mean, I'm doing okay. I've, you know, things things have been much worse in other maps. I have to say, the um, author of this actually did a pretty good job with ammo balance. And also, again, going back into um, balance changes due to the conversion. If it weren't for the pain elemental, which, I mean, obviously is a very high priority target. Yeah, things would have been a bit more... Well, uh, okay. A bit less cr um, constrained. Another one of these things. The lighting's not great, <laughs> obviously. Although it's not as like contrasty as some of the other ones. Like some of them, it's like full bright to full dark, over and over again. Have fun. <laughs> nah, this one's a. It's annoying, but it's not. It's not as bad as it could be. How about that? I uh, still have a few instances of... Okay, I thought I heard something open. I don't think I did. But yeah, this one, it's like... Um, you've got a few instances of doors that are kind of 
not very well marked. So that's not super great, but yeah. At the same time, I'm not entirely sure. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure with that one that I came across way over this way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure with that one, it, I would have to um, know it's here. Of course, is it marked on the map? Not really. It's it's marked as a secret wall. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not fantastic. I guess at least in this situation. Oh yeah, the waterfall texture of the of the era, since there wasn't actually a waterfall texture in Doom One. But yeah, okay, calm down, dicks. Contrary to your apparent belief, you're not on UV fast. All right, but um, yes, yeah, so that part's not super great. I'm not a fan of um completely unmarked walls like that. As you all very well know. It's a bit more discoverable in this map than most, since most of them are right at the end of a path, but still, it's not... It's just not good practice. Never has been. Okay. I think... It, and then there's always the whole, like, well... This doesn't necessarily relate to that, because um, it generally strayed away from stuff like that. But there's even like some practices that... In um, like the standard IWADs that are a bit... Uh, not great. I think the most obvious one being the... Uh, the shoot wall in uh, E1M2. Yeah. D d does anybody really like that? Does anybody think that it really... Oh, well, thank you. Does anyone think it really adds to the game at all? No, nah, not really. Not really. My whole experience with that one was uh, that... Basically... I just kind of... Had a wall that I would just randomly be able to open. It took me so long to figure that out. Because, I mean, it would just sometimes open during the firefight, and I don't know. It's not really intuitive. Especially with, like, the stock textures Doom has. We've got some, like, third-party wall textures where it's a bit more intuitive, where it actually looks like a target, but... Mm. Oh. Oh, jeez. I hope that's... I hope that turns into a lift. Because if not... Yep, that's a soft lock. Oh, no it's not. Okay. I'll piss off. Actually, I think the only reason it's not a soft lock might be because they walked down here. No? No, it definitely was me pressing on the side of that. That's weird. Eh, I mean... I guess it works. I've seen worse. <laughs> I think that's like the the worst like when it comes to like the bad parts of this map that I've seen so far it's like the general thing is yeah I've seen worse I'm really curious about that BFG though it's not even labeled as a secret strangely enough hmm I still haven't gotten any keys what the hell and from what I can gather this map uses like literally all the keys so, um, something open up down here, maybe? Uh, it's just that, which, um, yeah. Can't really do anything there. Hmm. It's a part in the center, but I need a blue key to access that. Yeah, this is the part where I start to worry, because I've been having fun with this map so far. Outside of, like, the little things I pointed out, like the just random secret areas at the end of various things. But now I'm worried that there's keys hidden behind secrets. Because I haven't come across any of them. I mean, there's not that many places I can go here. Outside of just pressing random walls. And if I turn on the map code, it's not coming off. 
keep going back over here, but yeah, that's just all decorative. I guess I'll go back. I don't think I missed. Oh. Funny how that's not labeled as a secret, even though that's like textbook secret right there. Uh, it's another factor that kind of worries me. All right, well. Okay, still reject table blues, I guess. Just gonna do one more quick scan, but yeah, I don't, I don't think there's um gonna be a key anywhere over here. Nope, there is not. So you can't press it on the center, but you can press it on either side, and that'll work. Oh, that's so that's just so weird. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Can't complain. At least at least it's not a soft lock. I've seen so many instances where I've gotten soft locked due to just stupid stuff that um I'll gladly take something that isn't that. Okay, I already hit that. Just want to make sure. Just want to cover all my bases. Because now... I'm... Basically stumped. Which is just great. 13 minutes in, no keys, and it looks like all the doors are used. I... Okay, yeah, and I definitely pressed that. Is there a switch I missed, perhaps? Yeah, this is just all, um, oh, box shells. Well, at least I know it's there in case I need them, but yeah, this is just like, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if there's like a similar switch on the other side. I don't know. I'm leaning towards probably not. I, I don't recall seeing anything, at least. <laughs> the BFG just taunts me. Even though I, I'm fairly confident I'm not going to need a BFG for this map. <laughs> Unless it just suddenly turns into oops all cyber demons, which, um, I mean, I guess you never know. This is a 90s map, and um, sometimes they just do that. There's a little... Um, the cutout areas in the side are nice. Doesn't look like there's anything significant about them. Looks like they're just uh, decor. Okay, I hit that one already. Hmm. Guess let's just go through this one more time. Make sure there's. Just basically take every one of these paths and make sure there's not like either a secret or a uh, switch at the end of each of these paths. Yeah, most of these paths actually just, I mean, there's no room to actually have a secret because it bumps up against another part of the maze. Hmm. Well, one thing I'll say with this, at least the author didn't make it so that you couldn't see the lines on the map, that would have, um, that would have been upsetting. <laughs> yeah, upsetting. I have no idea. Alright, well, you know what that means. Okay, so, I'm just gonna no clip up there. There we go. Yeah, so it turns out there's a room branching off of that, and if it has a key, then that's when we start deducting serious points. Ooh, it has a switch. Something to my right. Oh, thank goodness, a chainsaw. Um. Okay. Oh, this is, like, really not an ideal fight right here. This is, like, where you'd really want the light amp goggles. 
But, uh, yeah, we don't have those, so, um... I think I still have blue armor. 13% of it. Sniper shotgun equipped. There's another one of those cases, too, where... If this is a conversion... The chain gun... Chain gunner really throws everything off. Ugh. Oh, hi, everybody. Yeah, we've definitely got some reject table blues going on here. I mean, they couldn't see me and I was right in front of them, so, uh, yeah. I wonder if it would have been better off, if I would have been better off staying up here. I don't know. Either way, I'm pretty sure that switch... Okay, it probably opens that thing in the corner there. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, I was overthinking that. Maybe. Oh. Huh. Wait a second. Oh, I get it. Haha. -ha. I understand now. There we go. Okay, what are you... <laughs> Just... Yeah, th that, that works. Are you... Are you serious? Are you fucking... Hi, how, how can I make this map a complete and utter joke? Do shit like that. I'm sorry. Heads you win... Like, heads I win, tails you lose bullshit never works. Like, that is the absolute shittiest way you can use a crusher, bar none. It's just not, it's not fair to the player. It's, it's just straight up cheap. I, I mean, let's be 100% real here. So what in the hell, how did I open that? I'm not sure what I did to open these side doors. God, I, I don't even know. Whatever. We're going in. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. I've already lost, like, a heap... Heaping load of respect for this map because of this bullshit. So, um... Alright, there we go. I think we can turn that off. Oh. And there's the... Oh my god. Yep. That's what, that's what we got. We got, we got keys hidden behind secrets. Alright, well. That was unfortunate. Another case of a map that's just gonna end up getting... Um, well, okay. It's it's another example of a map that really just hasn't aged well. Okay, I'm just gonna no clip up here. This is I don't wanna go all the way around that again. And you know what? We already had to resurrect because of a complete BS crusher trap, so um Eh At this point, who cares? Alright, so this actually brings us down here. Oh, yeah, I guess that would have worked, too. And, yeah, the reject... Reject map on this is just, um... Very much broken. Like, <laughs> At least part of, like, the visual part is. I, I don't... I don't know. Okay, now... You guys fall down. Go boom. Yay. See how many more BS Crusher traps we have. So we... I mean, this is one of those things, too, where the... Um, even if the rest of the uh, keys aren't really hidden behind secrets, per se... You know, we're, we're already damned here because the 
blue key was hidden behind a secret, so... Mm, why? I don't like you guys. <laughs> so there's there's that. I don't know. It's, it's always just unfortunate when you see a map that's fairly good in terms of combat and stuff that just torpedoes itself because they have to throw in some sort of completely undiscoverable thing. And that lost soul is being very uh, stubborn. There we go. Cool. So, yeah. Over here. Hey, now we're here. Especially one that has, like, you know, reasonably good layout and flow and stuff like that. I don't know. What did I open? I heard, I heard something. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, is it this thing here? Yeah, like, I think all the secrets in this map are mandatory. I don't get it. Because the one had that switch, which eventually ended up leading to the blue key. Yeah, all the switches, or all the secrets in this map were, um, 100% mandatory. It's very disappointing. Okay. I mean, that's a cool little combat puzzle. And she actually has a pretty good chance of winning in this time. At this time. See, that's almost like, um... I wonder if this... Oh. I was gonna say, I wonder if this leads me to the BFG, but that would be a nope. The hell? How did I not get hit by that? I mean, the reject table isn't used to calculate arch file damage, is it? Huh. Oh, I can't go back there. Go figure. I mean, that's the only thing I... Oh, that was weird. I don't know. All right, I don't think I heard a boss death yet. Did I? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh yeah, he got wrecked. No, why would you why would you do that? This is like seriously the worst place she could be right now. She should be close to dead though. I mean even if she is immune to splash damage, you know. Cyber McCyberson does have uh are you... Really? Oh my god. Why is that a one-use teleporter? It doesn't even make sense. Anyway. Um, yeah, Cyber McCyberson does have a lot more health, so there's that. Um, yeah. Well, let's, let's go back this way. And I suppose the only way around there... God, I hope the red key is on that, um, is beyond that yellow door. Would have to be, right? I mean, I can't think of anywhere else in the map it would be, and I've, I've exhausted all the secret areas, so, um, yeah. It just kills me how you get stuff like this, which, I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's not a secret area, or maybe that's not an accessible area, maybe that's the whole point of it. But I don't know, it kind of cracks me up when you get these areas that are obviously secret. They have weapons, ammo, whatever in it. Those aren't marked secret. But the areas that you need to go to to access the keys... Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good secret. Yeah, so this is... This leads over to this area. Right, I never actually did deal with these fellas. Ha! <laughs> Brilliant. Right, and uh... Fall down, go boom, perfect. And what we got up here? What? What? what why was? Maybe there wasn't a red key. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I gotta check real quick. Give me a second. What the hell was that? Um. 
Yeah, so that was a... Oh, okay, I can see the little lime green thing. Okay, so that's not actually a door. That's just kind of an... What, what the, why, though? I, I wait, Just an area where you can waste some ammo, I suppose? It's the only thing I could think of. Yep, there's a blue key up there. Uh, the yellow key there. Hmm. Yeah, I think that might be it. And I'm kind of getting the vibe that this was only meant to, t like, just sort of taunt the player, which, I mean, yeah, you don't really need a BFG on this map. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I don't know. It's just... Kind of a very weird and abrupt way to end it. Especially since... Yeah, whatever, let's just do that. I mean, there's, like, just no sign that it's even gonna happen either, like... No exit, nothing. Okay, well... Final thoughts. Um... God. I mean, pretty hit scanner heavy. You know, but that's not really a problem. I mean, we had the weapons to deal with them. It's kind of hard to tell how the balance was supposed to be because this was clearly a conversion, but oh my god, just that requiring secrets for key cards, I'm I'm tired of dealing with that. And I don't understand why that was such a thing. I, I mean, even in Wolfenstein 3D, it managed to mostly um, mostly refrain from doing that. I just don't understand why anyone would think that that was a good way to design a map. And I, I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me harp on and on about this, but it's it's doesn't matter how many times it happens. It's bad all the time. So I don't know. As far as ratings go, shit. Um reasonably fun combat but it's just hamstrung by its own progression i had a few clever moments like the cyber demon versus spider mastermind fight i mean when you really look at it they probably did that before it did and uh i don't know it's just a shame to juxtapose stuff like that over top of the fact that you need to just find nested secrets to get to the blue key so you can even get to that fight it's i don't know it's it's always hard for me to to score stuff like this i mean i had to use the map cheat to beat the map so i mean that's obviously some hefty point takeage offage for that but at the same time there are other aspects of it like not having um well actually no it did have a death trap Oh, jeez. I get... It's so funny, because, like, the map author thought of, um... Aspects to prevent soft locks, but then... They throw in a death trap. Just... I, and the worst part is it wasn't one of those things where it was, like... Obvious or anything. It's like, oh, you hit the wrong side of the computer panel? Well, enjoy your crushing ceiling. I don't... I, I, I can't even... So, I don't know, in terms of final score... Ah, oh, jeez. These are hard, these are so hard to score, especially when they do so much right, but then, like, the fundamentals are off. I don't know, six and a half. Six and a half, mostly for the disappointment factor, I think. It seems kind of harsh, but I mean, it's just... It's not pleasant when you run into a brick wall like that, like... Some of these ones, like, I'll, I'll take, like, half a point off if, um, it requires a secret, but you can go into the map and actually see the wall. Because, I mean, sometimes, like, that's just a flag in the map editor for, you know, just to give you an idea. When you want to mark a wall as being truly secret, you select it, right-click it, click the secret flag. That ensures that enemies can't press the wall, and it'll also show up as, um... Well, in, in the original Doom, it would show up as yellow. You know, and here it shows up as, like, white. But... This map author took the extra step of not only making sure the textures were aligned properly, but also checking that secret wall flag. So... Which makes it even harder to discover. So, yeah, it's just... There, there's a lot wrong here. Um... 
I'm, I'm struggling between six and a half and seven, but uh, I'm gonna go with seven. F fuck it. Let's just let's bump it up to seven. Let's round it up just because the combat was fun. But eh, yeah, that that was about that. That's about it, though. I, I'm just gonna just gonna leave it at that. Gonna call this thing and um, then just weep for what could have been, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, sorry for the ramble. Um, I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Where hopefully they don't hide keys behind secret walls. Oh well, not going to hold my breath. Anyway, ta-ta.